Las Vegas versus Phoenix. That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And today, I thought it'd be interesting to compare Las Vegas versus Phoenix, just because a lot of people that are relocating out of California or even back east are debating on if they should move to Phoenix or if they should move to Las Vegas. So I'm gonna go over the difference between the two, although some do share quite a bit of similarities. Both locations offer warm climates, relatively low living costs, outdoor recreation, and tons of other attractions. This helpful video will explore the main similarities and differences between these two top destinations. Did you know that Phoenix is the fifth largest city in the United States? With a metropolitan area of over 4.8 million people and the current population for las vegas is just slightly over 2.7 million residents that is a huge difference between phoenix and vegas that's like double the size as a side note i actually used to live in scottsdale arizona for two years between 2006 and 2008 and i've been in the vegas valley for a total of almost 30 years so I thought it was interesting to compare because I actually got to experience living in the Phoenix metro area and also having lived in Las Vegas for so long, it was an easy comparison. So first I wanted to compare the difference in the climate. And obviously Las Vegas and Phoenix have a dry heat, sunny climate, um, it's in the desert. So very similar in that aspect. However, the one major difference is that um, Phoenix actually tends to be a little more humid than Las Vegas and the temperature tends to be 5 to 10 degrees hotter than Las Vegas. I remember when I used to come up and visit my parents here in Vegas from Arizona and you could feel the difference in the temperature and it was very noticeable. So in the summers, uh, typically Las Vegas temperatures are between 100 to 115 and in Arizona, it's typically around 100 to 120. And that five degree difference can definitely be felt. You can feel that, I mean, 120 degrees is hot. And in the winters, they're similar in temperatures with Phoenix actually being slightly warmer. Their average winter lows in Phoenix is around 44 to 48 degrees. And in Las Vegas, it's between 38 and 42 degrees. So yeah, five degree difference, um, it's really not that bad though. Then I wanted to compare um, the entertainment between the two cities. In terms of entertainment options, obviously Las Vegas has Phoenix beat, hands down. The area is home to the famous Las Vegas Strip with nearly endless arrays of restaurants, shopping centers, casinos, um, hotels, and tons of entertainment. Although Las Vegas has an unbeatable nightlife, sports lovers may find Phoenix a little more closer to home. Phoenix is one of only 13 cities that has teams in all four professional leagues, football, hockey, um, baseball, and basketball. And the metropolitan area hosts the entire spring training league for the MLB. Uh, however, don't give up on Vegas when it comes to the professional sports teams because we're finally a city that has some professional teams. We have three, okay? Right? We have the NHL, which is the Las Vegas Golden Knights Hockey League. We have um, the NFL, the Las Vegas Raiders for football. We also have the women's NBA team, the Las Vegas Aces for basketball. And then don't forget, we do have a minor league baseball team, the Las Vegas Aviators. Hey, we have an awesome field in downtown Summerlin. So we're getting there finally, finally getting there with our sports teams. Next, I wanted to compare the cost of living between the two. Both Phoenix and Las Vegas offer a reasonable cost of living, with Las Vegas being slightly higher with a medium sales price of $335,000, while Phoenix's median sales price is around $311,000. However, you gotta figure, 
with 4.8 million people and the metro area being extremely huge, maybe that's why their median price is a lot lower because they have more inventory to compare to. Just food for thought on that one. However, Nevada has no state income tax. A lot of people get confused and think that Phoenix has no state income tax. That is not the case. We have no state income tax. And our sales tax is about 8.25%, while Phoenix sales tax is at 8.6%. So tell me what, cost of living, yeah, our median price is slightly higher than Phoenix, but in the end, it either balances out or Vegas is the clear winner because no state income tax and lower sales tax. Next, I wanted to compare outdoor activity and both Phoenix and Las Vegas are in the desert. So obviously you're gonna have a lot of options when it comes to outdoor activities. Obviously I know a little more about Las Vegas. We have um, Lake Mead, Hoover Dam, Valley of Fire, Mount Charleston, Red Rock, and the list can go on and on. And I'm sure Phoenix has the exact same things. I mean, not, not Lake Mead or Hoover Dam. However, they have outdoor recreational activities that beautiful mountains, um, Canyon Lake, uh, they have a lot of other options as well. And it's funny though, when you go to Phoenix and you go to Vegas, it's just, it's very similar feel for me. When I used to visit Phoenix for work, I always felt like I was in Vegas. It just felt the same type of atmosphere that, you know, the whole scenery was similar. Houses look the same. Everything is pretty much the same, except for Phoenix is huge. And there are about 189 parks in Phoenix proper, and Phoenix has over 200 golf courses. Okay, yeah, of course they're gonna have 200 golf courses because the area is friggin' huge. I mean, Phoenix doesn't just involve Phoenix. You have Tempe, you have um, Mesa, Gilbert, Scottsdale, Paradise, Glendale, uh, to name a few that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, it is absolutely friggin' huge with all the different little areas that it encompasses the entire the phoenix valley and las vegas i can't even count how many parks las vegas has i mean the city of las vegas has over 100 parks but then you got to figure summerlin alone has over 250 parks so we have a lot of parks here in vegas so for golf courses obviously phoenix has us beat by a lot we have around 49 to 50 golf courses in um, the valley. And last, I wanted to compare the traffic between Las Vegas and Phoenix and having experienced both, and granted, mine was in 2006 to 2008, so could you imagine 12 to 14 years, how much more it's grown in traffic? <laughs> so in Phoenix, the traffic is horrific. I used to live in South Scottsdale and my work was in Glendale. So South Scottsdale is in the southeast portion of the valley where Glendale is in the northwest portion of the valley and I had to take that whole loop and it took forever. It's probably a 40 mile drive. Um, so the drive to and from work was not fun. I did not like it. So typically in Phoenix, to get anywhere in Phoenix, it could take up to 90 minutes just how bad the traffic is. In Vegas with traffic from one end of the city to the other, it's about 40 minutes, but typically no one's gonna be traveling from North Las Vegas to Henderson. Uh, typically it's about 20 to 30 minutes to get anywhere in the valley. And depending on where you're located, it could be a lot less. As you can see, there's a lot of differences and similarities between Las Vegas and Phoenix. When I lived in Phoenix, I was actually happy to get out. And I'm sure people say the same thing when they live in Vegas, they're ready to get out. The only reason I didn't like living in Scottsdale was because everything closed around eight or nine o'clock at night. When you have two young children, it was kind of hard because if they needed to get cold medicine or if they needed something, everything was closed, even the gas stations. I like the convenience of Las Vegas with everything being open. Some shops are open 24 hours. Even fast food places are open 24 hours. So you get used to the convenience of things staying open later or staying open 24 seven. And the summers were a lot hotter than Vegas and it was a lot more humid there too. So it was just overall, I mean, it's a nice place to live if that's what you're looking for. But if you're looking to save money, not have as hot temperatures, then Vegas is the obvious choice but it's ultimately up to you. 
If you are thinking about buying in the Las Vegas area, you can always give me a call at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything that this awesome Las Vegas Valley has to offer. Thank you so much for watching today, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.